as well. But we're talking about a lot of these uh, investors selling in Nika and why is Nika a lot of these other new age companies as well. So we'll uh, throw it to Vivek out here who's been detailing all these numbers on a daily basis, tracking who's selling what and now he's put together a list. Vivek. Well, that's right. Uh, so what we're doing is we're trying to analyze the underperformance of the new age uh, businesses given the sharp selling pressure we have witnessed uh, in these names. Let's have a look at the four listings that recently saw their lock-ins expire, which has actually led to sharp selling pressure via large trades and block deals, especially from some of the pre-IPO and anchor investors. So the lock-in of Nika, especially when you're talking about it, the lock-in ended on November 10th, 2022. And as we mentioned, you know, some significant block deals have happened here. None larger than Lighthouse India Fund, you know, it's almost completely exited its entire stake in the company via multiple block deals on multiple deals. Also remember, when you're talking about Nika, the announcement of the bonus issue and the delay in terms of crediting of the shares uh, into the DMAT account was something that actually led to a delay in the selling. And this is why you've seen continuous block deals uh, that have transpired in Nika you know, after the lifting of, uh, or after the expiry of the lock you can state. The next company that we are looking at is actually Delivery. Now in Delivery, you know, Carlyle, a major investor in Delivery, actually held almost 5% um, stake, out of which it has gone ahead and exited half of the stake. The lock-in expired on November 21st, 2022, and after which, you know, you've seen a 50% of stake reduction already coming in. And now, you know, the worry as far as uh, delivery is concerned is, you know, how much do they own more? And this is something that, uh, you know, the market is keenly awaiting. Uh, moving on, you know, PB FinTech, when you're talking about this particular company, uh, you know, it was seen as a disruptor as far as the insurance space is concerned. But it has also been a victim of disruption in its own business warrant, given the input of uh, Bhima Sugam. Now, it's also facing selling pressure from anchor investors. The company's lock-in ended on November 11th. And post which, you know, you've already seen quite a few block deals happen. Uh, one of the major investors that have exited stake uh, uh, significantly has been Tiger Global. Uh, now, post which, you know, they own a, a little less than 1% stake after this particular block deal. Lastly, Paytm, it's, you know, it's been the one that's seen the biggest decline in terms of facing selling pressure. And, you know, since it's listing the, and since from the IPO price, the stock is down over 70%. Uh, one big seller in this name has been SoftBank. SoftBank has sold uh, almost 2.93 crore shares. And the other worry is that Alibaba owns over 31% stake. So that is another you know, company to keep an eye out for in terms of upcoming or impending block deals. Okay, all right, Vivek, that's a precise summary. Thank you so much for joining us. With